Welcome yourselves back to Crit Cast. It is going to be Envision versus Twice. I'm joined here today by Dr. Underscore on production and Harry on the other microphone. How are you doing, my friend? I am excellent today. Being outside as well, had a lovely day, but enjoying or looking forward to Highlander even more. On the Twice, we have Medics on the Scout, Hiver on Soldier, we have KCAM on. Pyro, Sammy leading the team on Demo Man, Eli on Heavy, we have Karik on Engineer, Seb on Medic, Broke on a Sniper, and Axio rounding out the roster on the Spy. On the other side of Envision, we have Pajaka returning on the Scout, Kavka returning on the Soldier, the Grip on Pyro, Luca on the Demo Man, our Heavy will be Stinghan, Engineer is Asux, Zio on a Medic, Norby will be your returning Sniper, and Unforgiven, as always. On the spy. I don't see anything particularly funny on any of the players as I'm going around, so should be pretty standard sacks coming in as our uh, first battle, Harry. Indeed. You can either take a quick Uber trade and try to play the post or try to sack in for that sniper, but here we go. Gates are opened and the game has started. As you said, the sniper on the playground, the soldier on this far right flank, far left side flank for the. Uh, for Envision as we just get a nice bit of cart time, bed staying and spawn for now, Broken playing on the roof and we've got the spies bumping into each other and Dunfagum's gonna have to reposition before he's caught out. Nice frag from Broken onto Stinghan though and then Piazzi oh. getting sniped as well. Two frags quickly and that's gonna prompt Seb to come out with this Uber, the trade is coming out like I said, no sacks this time, Eli going down so it's a nice strong position for the post and there's Broken going down so it's free range for the snipers and lots of frags coming out. On the side of Envision, Seb just managing to escape with his life, but no ground made on that first push so far. Nice yeah. hole from Envision. Interesting decision there. They used so much earlier than I thought they needed to. With no sniper on the field, you can kind of, you know, not use that Uber until quite late. But Sammy just wanted to get in there deep, but the Pyro of Grip just denied any space um, they were going to take with that Uber. So they just got absolutely nothing with it, and then the backstab just came in. Got a couple of picks, and in the end, it was uh, Envision holding, but they're losing a couple of picks here now. The Uber might have to come out. They've lost Luke and Stinghan, two big defensive classes. Sap comes out. This is going to be their time to walk forward. Gun going down as well. Uber finally comes out for Envision. They're just going to be able to kite this out so, so easily. Pyro goes in deep for something, but can't find any kills there, and that is Envision giving up first. So some nice focus fire to get those kills. They didn't really respect on Envision when they came back up that hill. Just lost Luca way, way too early. Doesn't look like they're going to get a second set up either as Asox went down. Yeah, that first point is really, really important to get that um, numbers advantage. Once you have the numbers advantage, it's fairly easy to push, but ne um, KCAM going down to a stab from Unforgiven, that's going to be lots of spam coming over the hill. The Uber is forced nice and early. And it's just going to be Axio in the Uber as the spy because the Uber is absolutely awful. It's going to be a nice second hold opportunity for Envision here with an 80% Uber charge advantage as they set up in the forward hold. we just playing by Cloudy Rock there as they nice to take all their space there can. As the, and twice are trying to take the space from hill, from slope, Got, trying to get, make, bro get broken some frags here, but. Not uh, too much going on, in fact, Norby winning the SVS versus Broken, and that's going to prompt a nice little treat from Twice, and Vision can just sit oh, around, not forced. doing much for now. Wow! We got forced from Tunnel, yeah, Zero is playing in Tunnel, I think got a little bit scared by some uh, Soldier Spam, potentially, or something, I didn't see quite what it was, but yeah, that's an Uber forced out for Envision there. They just need to come in, have a bit of a better play, but there's a Soldier Bomb in onto the Medic here, can he find what he needs to know? Kavka will go down, it's Pajaka on the chase, but he can't find anything evil, will lose his life. Free down for Envision here. Twice you, you, you say that. They got Seb with that. The Conqueror was just good enough. The first two rockets dealing about 130 damage, and Piazka just shooting uh, Seb from Hill, getting the uh, getting the kill on the medic, and that's a 60% overcharge advantage for yes, Envision. Look how much space, so look how much space they're just managing to take here. They've already got the hills back up. They're going to take this heavy down as well. The medic may live, but it looks like this second point might just be given up if they can get enough cap time here. But it looks like they might want to come in slightly. There is a soldier in that little forward house here. We'll see what he can get done. Just an eye by Sammy here. Doesn't look like he can do much. Sammy just hitting the pipes, man. He's using the absolute crutch weapon of the lock and load here. There's going to be some real haters in chat already looking to trap up that forward spawn. Envision won't give that up for free, though, but they do give up second. 
Indeed. Third is a very strong point that you need to be able to hold. You need to give your engineer time to set up as well. So I imagine they're going to be contesting this cart, making sure they just don't give up all the space for free. They do have a nice supercharge advantage to fall back on as well, in case they do get forced. The SVS is being taken by Broken and Norby as they just try to get cart time here on twice and the uber has been equalized. Norby getting the Sammy pick instead of the broker pick and medics going down as well. <laughs> oh my god, everyone is dying and they are going to have to back up. No cart time for the next 10 or 15 seconds. Pretty much all of what you said happened apart from the fact uh, that it was Norby getting the frag onto Broken. It was um, Broken getting the frag onto Sammy instead. Uh, that aggression Firing back at Sammy, but they are going to start pressuring in once again on the twice side. Need to get that cart time. Meta at the moment is try to get up the first hill while pressuring tracks. Um, and after that, then you try to pressure from slope. So see if that's what they opt to go for. They're pressuring in from slope as they're pushing in. The Ubers are probably going to get traded as we speak. Broken goes down, Unfor and Grip go down though. The Pirate, a very strong defensive class, so that's a really good advantage for Twice. And as you can see, so much space for Twice because there is no Pirate to deny them from that corner. Yeah, look how much card time they're getting. You were talking about that that first hill, but it looks like they're even going to get up on the second hill. As long as Menix does not get sniped here uh, by Nobby, it looks like he will survive another day. And they've just taken absolutely all of the space on twice. A really heroic uh, refresh from them. They even get the sentry gun. Surprised Asox didn't try to save that. He is going to have to build his gun in this passive position. Not going to be able to get up in that window, in that forward hold here. But now things are going to slow down a little bit as they're going to probably look for picks. Um, they do have that high ground area with a reasonable amount of classes on Envision. That's where your pause did happen. I'm not sure who they lost here, but they lost someone. Yeah, Axio, um, Axio crashed, so they had a pause out on last. Five minutes for the first three points isn't too bad. You want it to be slightly faster, really, but it's okay. As we see Twice trying to take this upper area, they do have a teleporter on the side of Envision going to that boxes, and Luca gets sniped as well. Oh! Seb getting a drop. gunned down. Seb are dropping that Uber, and that's going to absolutely destroy the Twice attempt in pushing into last for now, because just the heals and the Uber charge advantage is going to be so big for Envision. I say that, that <laughs> and it just doesn't happen. They get forced out, they lose everybody. The medic's stuck in the corner on the teleporter, meaning you can't actually give out those heals. Uh, it <laughs> ends up being that they're all dead. They just need cart time right now. Four, four up on the side of Envision means you just need to flood this cart, get times three, but the demo man doing so much work. Three frags already, and it's going to be a tough cap. The pirate on cart is the part cup, is the class you want, but it's not enough for now. Demo man denying again the scout not able to get the cap and it's a hold for now but it looks that uh, it's going to be a bit of a pyrrhic effort only a few seconds gained as Sammy is going to cap out this cart with Axio and it's a 6 minute and 46 second time that last push had lots going on <laughs> none of it could be predicted whatsoever <laughs> Yeah, Unforgiven it did not get disrespected that much for his team just to absolutely shot that Uber. That, that was really tragic. He completely gunned him down with a Tron Jay. That weapon does not enough damage uh, to get, you know, a drop there. That was very crazy for Seb to disrespect that much. <coughs> but it doesn't seem to matter too much when it's twice to just walk in, get that force and get all that aggressive position and they just had so many numbers on car, so much damage going into that high ground area, they couldn't get a gun back up, they couldn't get a good setup in the high ground, they did a good job on Envision with Luca Enderman just raining down spam onto the car but they just had reinforcements constantly coming through that teleporter and they just managed to win out that round. 6.46, as you were saying, not a bad time, definitely um, going to be a close average. one here. I would say it's about average, uh, yeah, for Prem especially. I mean, Twice had um, pretty good times on all the points that they, you know, mm -hmm. they failed a couple of pushes, but their repushes came in really fast. So if they can really find maybe, you know, two holds, maybe three um, really good ones, um, they can definitely win this out on Twice quite handily for this first map. But we are going live. Take us away, Harry. Yeah, and broken opening frag one second into the round onto Grip. As I said, the defensive sniper very strong. You need to win that SVS or get him stabbed to pretty much progress on this first point. As twice, getting another frag. Piazka going down this time. Luca is in, unforgiven, and Luca both go down. The soldier is high. Kafka going to crater almost as he dies on the flank to the pyro afterburn. 
Lots of frags coming out, but they're not denying cart. Cart time is still being progressed, and Norby losing the SVS. Broken, just sitting on playground. Free reign for the next 10 seconds. Yeah, you got to be really careful when he has free reign here. If he gets one of those cheeky picks, it's all over. And it's actually that cheeky pick coming out. Zio is down. That's no Uber here for Envision. And this is exactly uh, what they need on the side of Twice. You know, stopping these holds, slowing them down could be really good. We did see Twice, you know, fell an Uber and then just come out for this drive fight and just force out the Uber on Envision on our first round here. But Kavka going down might make that a bit of an issue. Going to have no real ability to jump onto playground. And uh, just one less person to shoot this gun here. Uber does come out aggressively from the side of Twice here. Will they get any picks? They wanted to try to go for a spy stab, but didn't get anything. There was a pipe onto Seb there, but uh, sorry, Zia there, but managed to get into that spawn. Sammy going down as well to a jumping soldier. And now this aggressive push gambit has really not worked out in their favor. As losing your demo man is pretty much you losing first as they will back out. Yeah, no spam soldier and demo going down means no denial of the point. And Actually, Ace is getting caught out by the Eli there as he tries to contest second. But uh, it's not a great, not a great repush there. I think he just got the medic. How <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps getting frags. But yeah, I think you don't really want to recontest that um, with your Uber there because you you've got a pretty good time. If you just wait for them to use into you, you can use your Uber to back out and then hold second off of that. They don't have Uber then to push um, the uh, second point. So you're going to gain about 40 seconds at least. It's going to be really strong if you don't use in there, I think. So I think that was probably a mistake. But it uh, pro might not matter, might matter. We'll have to find out at the end of the round. As uh, things are looking pretty much on par with the previous round. Uh, attacks going pretty much the same way. Yeah, it looks like they want to push in through tunnel on Envision here instead of going uphill when we see it quite commonly here. But going to get a lot more car time with this aggression. Um, it means you can get a little bit more aggressive. The gun was stabbed. That is the gun down straight away here. Sammy's got something to say about it. He's throwing a lot of spam in here. Pyro's going so aggressive. Does manage to get gripped down. And they're also scattered around here in tunnel. They're losing players on both sides here. Sammy does go down to a nice snipe. But there's a chase on two. Uh, Zio here does not go down, stays happy with over 100 HP there, and that will just be now them chilling for a little bit. Now this is going to be so, so much harder for them to hold here on the uh, the side of Twice, as they're already rushing in, Harry. Yeah, the Uber got forced out by a bomb there, and it looks like they're going to lose their sniper as well. Unforgiven with the key stab, that's going to mean that hill control is essentially free without an Uber or a sniper to contest. You can take this space, hold the W key, Take the space, Unforgiven get two key frags with Sammy and Broken, the two players down. That's going to afford them to be able to just push forward. You might see Twice recontesting this from tracks to just maybe get a couple of kills to slow them down on their third. But I think they're probably just going to back all the way out here and just take, try to set up on third. And maybe, maybe just try to delay them even a slightly could help them here. Yeah, they're on 80% Uber on the side of Twice, so it is coming up. They've had advantage for quite a while here on Envision, but they just haven't had the car time to really warrant them taking that aggressive push here. They are going to come up to Uber on Seb, it does look like, but I'm sure a play is going to come in anytime soon. It is a soldier bomb, but completely denied there by Kaikam. Gets absolutely nothing done here. And now it is just really on them to try to find a pick. Two minutes 40 remaining. These two points are definitely the hardest to push here. The pick's coming out for twice, taking down Luca and Norby. No sniper, no demo. It's going to make this pretty much impossible uh, to take a good trade in here, unfortunately. They do need to get this cart time denied. Grip is doing a great job of just getting this up the hill, denying any spam Sammy might send his way. Yeah, without that sniper, they could just wide peek for 10 seconds and delay that cart. And that card has only just got up that first little hill. They backed out as soon as Norby came up through that teleporter. And Broken killing Norby once again. Going to prop this Conqueror. Going to come out nice and aggressive, denying that cart time, cart space. And Sammy, just so much damage raining down onto Envision. Everyone's weak. There's going to be so many frags coming out. Even a little bit of damage is dealt to the entirety of Envision. But they just managed to survive that for now. And Norby... Opening up with a sniper frag, that's going to enable uh, lots of space to be taken. Stingham in shithouse as well. He has been spotted though. Yeah, Uber Trade is coming out here. It was looking a little bit better for Twice, but Kaikam is just getting blasted away by Grip. He completely taken out of the Uber, and it's actually looking okay from Vision. They're very low on health, so need to get healed up, but didn't lose too many key members while they did lose two. Make that three 
for the side of twice. His hold is going to be a lot harder now. You're also going to have a sniper peeking from tracks onto Sammy. You need to be careful. He is going to respect for now, but they lose Karik to that bomb from Kavka. There's going to be a late gun death, a late energy death. That's going to make this hold a little bit harder here. They look like they want to forward hold only a minute remaining here and vision really need to get a hurry on here as this is a super super strong hold here um for the side of twice luca nearly going down there could be tragic but instead it's illusioner going down so no heavy they still have this soldier to defend here so we'll make a chore out of it but i don't know where the rest of the team's gone here oh they've gone to uh to backstairs yes it's a absolute mess at the moment there's no cart time you need times three guys you need to be capping this cart you need to be capping as much as possible get the cart as close as possible so when you do use in you don't have any cart time to really pressure you just need to use that cart to bait the frags but there's 30 seconds on the clock and people using an upper with the cart there it's gonna be a tough ask for envision to win this round but they're getting the frags they're getting the frags it's looking promising but Sammy survives no he doesn't no he gets the snipe and he just needs to deny the cart can they do it what's going on envision five ten seconds left on the clock <laughs> two up it's gonna be an absolute scramble I have no idea who's gonna win <laughs> the heavy fist <laughs> They got everything coming out here, but the spawn is coming up a oh little bit. Oh my They've god. Out of time. That was a nail bite to there. Just couldn't find those picks. Look, they're heavy on car trying to get anything he could have, but it just runs out. Wow. That was incredibly close. I was running out of words. I couldn't say anything at the end there. That was absolutely crazy. They got so many frags, but the uh, two players on card, it was Menix and one, I don't know who it was, but uh, the scout and whoever else it was just denied that card for just long enough to hold the round. Wow. What a, I told you it was going to be a good game. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a close one. Yeah, you're saying these teams, you know, could be trading rounds here, and they definitely nearly did there. That was incredibly close. I mean, they just got everything they needed on that last trade there for Envision. It was looking so good from Kavka. Even got up top there, gone to the Illusioner Heavy, gone to the Karik Engineer, so they had no gun up to deny that point. I was sure they were going to get it off. They got that Sammy pick as well, but just not enough bodies able to get on cart to take down those last players in those last seconds. I think maybe just struggling to get that cap time initially when they needed it. But yeah, they made it a close one. And this is definitely going to be a close second one. Uh, Axio did say, I'm going Harry mode. I don't know if uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that's uh That's not you. a good thing. <laughs> 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 that's like, oh, no. Okay. Uh, it's a reference to when I went 0 to 16 on this map in a scrim. It was not a good time. <laughs> Axio going 2 to 11. So he didn't do all that much better. Um so, it, it's all good, it's all good, we all have those games. Me more than most, but uh, <laughs> it's not a great start for Axio, but his team does win the game, so you can't ask for all that much more, but it was very close. A uh, couple of things that I saw from Vision, though, um, I think their main mistake when they were holding that last push was then when they killed Seb, they tried to hold onto that Uber, but I think if you use that Uber to retake top instead of just having your medic hide, and you don't, if you don't lose all those players, then you don't get forced anyway. So I think maybe they have to use in that Uber aggressively to use it as a quote-unquote free Uber to take that space, and then who knows how long they could have held after that. But um, a very, very close round. On the, on the, on a knife's edge, on a knife's edge that was, yeah, it really, really was a close one. I mean, it's hard to say, right? In retrospect, you can say all these things, but yeah, know, in you the can't moment. really call a game that close. I think just that their push into first, losing Zio to that snipe, uh, not really, you know, giving enough aggression onto playground, and then just really struggling on that second hold, letting Illusioner get so much uh, done, just holding forward, got three picks, basically, uh, was helped by it broken with, I uh, wasn't an assist, it was a kill, but it might as well have been an assist, Illusioner did like 150 out of 175 damage that was needing doing, but yeah, they just couldn't quite get in free straight away, but once they got that space, they were looking pretty good, but I think they just need to move a little bit faster, move more as a unit a little bit on a vision, but overall very good. Yeah, I mean, the stats of the game were really one-sided. Um, you wouldn't have thought it'd be that close, but uh, the 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 kills were <laughs> massively in favour of Twice. Uh, looking at the logs here, we got a 25 kill differential in favour of Twice, and they only just won them a game. <laughs> Broken going 22-8 to eight to Norby's 11-8, to eight, getting double the kills. Sammy with 400 DPM, uh, Luca Enderman matching that with 434. So that was just fairly even, but there's just so many more kills from Twice, and they still only just won the game. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I mean, Menix and Illusion are doing a great job as well. Illusion were just staying alive so much while being able to go for those cheeky picks. Just playing around the team really well, kind of knowing the limits of the heavy class, which is... Uh, be quite a rarity sometimes um, for these heavies putting out 350 damage which is super super respectable and then menex going 18 to 10 on upwards you're doing okay man just finishing off those kills um playing off that damage super well i guess i didn't see him do crazy crazy things but i guess he was uh he was doing work yeah clean up master i imagine he only had 238 dpm but if your team needs kills cleaning up and you're cleaning up those kills you're doing um what the team needs and uh you won the round, so it couldn't have been that bad, but it was a bit of a close one. <laughs> I would not have liked to have heard the comms on either side. I think eardrums might have been burst. <laughs> quite, quite potentially. But yeah, I know, super close game. But for anyone who's, you know, maybe a little new to you know, competitive TF2, this is the a best of three format um, for this. So we will be seeing a best of three on this first map upward here. So they still have a chance to win this. If they do win the next two rounds on Envision, it will be a 4-2. However, it's twice it managed to clutch up and uh, win a second map in the road. They will get that full six points, which will lead them very nicely into this first week, especially how close these teams have been in the past. Indeed. I would like to also thank Flamewing for the subscription on Twitch as well while we're at it waiting for these teams to ready up once more. But uh, if the second round is anything like the first, I think we're in for a very, very, very nice game, especially if Envision win this second round, go to a third, that'd be nice, a 4-2 split, as uh, we said it could have been, based on the previous game with the 2 3 twos. But um, just waiting for the players to be ready. Who do you think will be the standout player this round? Do you reckon Broken's going to carry on top fragging, or do you reckon Norby's going to step up and maybe uh, win more SVS fights and control the game for his team? Yeah, I mean, I think Broken has been doing just a great job, but I think it's more of a, a space thing. I think Broken has been supported hugely. I did not see that man unbuffed for like 90% of that game. His medic was doing a great job of just keeping him buffed the whole game, so he was able to win those SGSs, whereas Norby sometimes going out a little bit rogue, not quite finding those angles, maybe being spammed down a little bit more. Maybe he just needs to adjust a tiny bit, but he's definitely had his standout moments, and this is, you know, not over until the fat lady sings. And you know what the fat lady is saying? Let's go to a second map. Indeed. The, well, in this case, it's more of a frail little old lady. It's going, five, four, three, two, one, on the microphone. But uh, she does sing when the round is ended, indeed. As we end up in this second round, we have twice defending first and Envision attacking first, trying to set a nice strong time. It will be noted that if we do go to a third round, the team which had the fastest attacking time will get to decide whichever side they would prefer to start on in the third. So that is a four, six minutes, 40 seconds, 46 seconds to beat for Envision to have that slight advantage in that third round. But I think their main goal is to just win the round overall. Yeah, that's what you want. I think most teams, if they did have that opportunity, usually preferring defense a little bit seems like you have a slight advantage just knowing what sort of time you have to push, what risks you can take. So that's usually the preferential um, side to go, but that didn't seem to matter too much for Envision as they could not win out even with that preferential side. But we are going into this second map on upward. Envision attacking twice, defending. Take us away once again, Harry. Yeah, Broken not in Playground this time, but on tracks in a more aggressive position being called out, and he is going to be rotating back towards Playground now. No frags coming out quite yet, Norby in the left-hand spawn, so Sniper's not going to be taking the SVS, just going to be trying to go for any other frags they can, but Iluka comes in, bombing in, and Kafka is in once after, and Luka actually gets the Broken frag, so this is going to prompt a slight... Um, piece of aggression from Envision, I imagine. If you can make sure that Broken is down when you start walking out of spawn, it's going to be really strong with that teleporter being up, meaning Broken's really quick spawn is going to have him back in the fight. Yeah, he's already back. <laughs> it didn't matter. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. If that telly was down, Zio could come out aggressively, uh, but that doesn't seem to matter as already out um, of the spawn doors, playing in the suspension area, pretty safe for the most part, unless you catch a lot of spam. But Unforgiven going down will mean no gun sap. That doesn't seem to matter. They want to take this trade up, want to make things happen fast. They use straight away out of respect on twice, but they just kite this out. They want to play for that post fight. They know once the Ubs are out, nothing much can happen, but Norby going down, Kafka to a snipe as well. It's definitely going to slow things out for this offense. Up in six seconds, so not too long. 
to wait. Somebody needs to be careful. Taken down to 27 health there. It was a very close one. Spawners are up now, so definitely have the opportunity to push straight away if they want to. Yeah, Zio actually got trapped on that right-hand side, a little bit of the uh, bridge there, being um, seen by a sniper. Seb going down to Unforgiven, getting the stab in front of the entire team, and that's going to prompt the back out. Sammy going down to Norby as well. Nice, strong push from the two opening frags there. Lots of space on this hill now. No demo man to be spamming, no medic to be healing, so this is going to be free for now. But Norby going to bro going down to broken. That's actually going to prompt the recontest from twice, I imagine. Yeah, it definitely will, especially with Kavka being picked out in that window area. That's no soldier either. They may have 100% Uber on Envision, but they just don't quite have the cart time to where they want to really come into this. They are going to back out into track just to try to find a reposition, get this space, get this cart time, wait for Luca to come back up, and then they can probably mount a push here. Seb only on 60%, so they might not have it back up, actually, if they go fast enough. But these medics very good at building this Uber. I wouldn't expect it um, to take them too long to get this up here. But, yeah, I mean, just getting that early Norby pick and then getting that soldier pick who was going quite aggressive is exactly what they needed. It is in vision, walking aggressively up this hill, charioted. Um, by Grip taking a lot of aggression here. Luca taken down very low, needs to get healed back up. The Uber comes out from Sammy. It's another textbook Sammy play as he likes to go aggressive in these Ubers. They do trade things out. Spy's coming in here. It's going to go for the gun. Can they find what they need to on Envision? No, they can't even get the gun down here. Axio is a pick for them, luckily, but losing Stinghan as well. This is surely going to hold their push here. Luca is just so far out on this side tunnel area alone. The rest of the combo just on the hill. It's just going to allow twice to take up this positioning in the forward spawn and the forward spawn the forward hold even but they don't want to give this space up for free harry no they do not actually being down does mean they can only only have to worry about what is in front of them for the most part and they're actually twice backing out the pressure does become too much piazza getting the elise near frag for menix in the back line actually getting lots of damage onto ceo but it ends up getting killed not able to finish out that frag as the Ubers are about to come up. Recontesting from tracks as per usual, but there's just too much spam and they're gonna have to back out for now. But <laughs> so many frags coming in, actually. The oh, Sammy the is gonna take the trade through house. Normie getting caught up top by the Pirate as well. And the Uber is so much better for Envision, but they have no players to actually kill anything with. Yeah, they lost uh, Stinghand to a backstab, Norby to a pyro, a real tragedy there, but lose even more on the side of Twice. Serba going down will mean a big disad for the side of Twice when this third push does come out. I'd expect Envision just to really try to roll this. I think they should be able to take Hilarious straight away uh, with Kaikam down, but they need to kind of take this fast, otherwise uh, things might be a little wrong here. However, is up in this high ground area. Denying anyone from going super fast, which I think is definitely the right yes, play Yes, indeed. Seb actually going down to grip in that post but The Uber was so much better that even though they only had a pyro, Seb still got caught. That's just how much better the Envision Uber was. But the times three on cart is very important. As I said, they are going to be contesting from tracks, and Sammy trying to deny it gets sniped. And it's going to be a really strong advantage for Envision as they end up edging this cart back towards this first slope. It is up gun is really passive you'll now see them probably rotate back in towards the slope and try to get close with the uber charge trying to take the corner and that's exactly what they're gonna do Elijah in the banana not able to find anything normally going down to broken and it's gonna be a really strong hold if they can manage to actually wide peak this and force this uber early they are trying to go forward, but they're feeding so many for it. The Uber comes out, but they're five down. I don't think it's going to matter. The Seb's going to have to use this Uber, but <laughs> or just get out. And it's get out to last that they pick. I think that's probably the right decision. As you're not going to be able to deny this cart for more than a few seconds. Yeah, just denying those players, Sammy and Hiver going down. And just allowed them to get up all of those um, hills for absolutely free there. And that was you know, basically the perfect picture you need. They do get out with Uber on the side of twice. But I feel like at this point, it's quite easy to get a force if you're not playing super well here. But Seb playing in quite a back position, not giving that soldier great opportunities to jump. And they will hold on to the Uber for now. Zio, though, already up to 60% Uber. And they've just got so much cart time. They're so much aggression into this backstairs area from the demo man and Pyro here. They might have to use it if they're not careful here. Sentry gun goes down as well, so it's going to give some space on cart if people want to take it. But the picks do look like they're going towards twice. Kavka and Pajaka.
both are down there, so that will be the flank eliminated here. Yeah, they used the Conqueror on the twice side to make sure they didn't have to use that Uber. Seb was always 150, so he was never in Bro. danger. But what is going on? The Uber comes out from Envision. Seb does get out, but they're only three up. Yeah, they just they just keep losing people on this hole. It feels like they either want to like always use in and keep going forward, or they just don't want to respect and take these trades. And it's just really not working out for twice in this round. They've already got it up to this last little hill. Kaikam being shot. They don't see the gun. That pit here. They <laughs> don't see the gun. Level one. Yeah, it's not going to do you much though. Oh, lovely high by Luca is going to get those lovely two picks. I think this should be round here. It's heavy on the car. It's going to push it over 6.57. Similar time, a little bit slower than twice it's pushed, correct? Yes, it was 6.46 in the last round. 6.57 in this round, so... Slightly slower push from Envision than twice, but such a close time. These teams are so closely matched. That's incredible that they managed to just walk up backstairs and get a bunch of kills with our Uber. And then the Uber from twice, just not good enough to be able to re-stabilize and get lots of kills. Uh, so they do end up losing, but that Uber did buy them time to actually have a slightly better defensive time than Envision did in the first round. Yeah, I don't really like how long Seb held onto Uber. He had it all the way from third to that last forward hold into spawn, just dropping players constantly. I know it's probably by the Sammy call to just, you know, force out that Uber originally on third and then try to maybe come back in or maybe hold it out for uh, for last. But they just gave, you know, Seb, uh, sorry, Zio all the time just to build that Uber straight back up and then allows that trade to come in. And they just seem to get all the picks from... Uh, from the flanks that they were pushing, losing those players one by one was just an absolute detriment and it just was not a good last hold. You really want your third and last hold to be your strongest holds, but they were definitely the weakest there from twice, so maybe something uh, they need to work on. If this does go to a third map, but still a, uh, a winnable push here. We've seen them do it once. Can they do it twice? Oh, everyone's going to hate you there for that one. <laughs> <laughs> You've been cooking that one all preseason, I can already tell. But as you say, twice coming out, trying to uh, win this push. Obviously, they can take the full six points if they do, but they're coming out early. Medic Seb, out. Yeah, med medic, uh, the medic is out, Seb hiding in the corner. Norby getting that frag onto Menex while he is completely uncontested right now on the playground. Dropping down, broken on the other hand on Stinghand on the right hand side as they just tr try to poke some damage in. Seb actually getting decloaked on from Unforgiven, but he is called out and cleaned up. Only have to look forward now. Everyone's in front of you. That's a really, really strong and under underestimated thing of killing the spy. But so many kills actually coming out. Luca going down after he dead his crit sticks, and the Uber is forced out from Shio as they probably want to back up now. Yeah, they uh, they lost their engineer there as well. There's still a heavy hiding in the corner. See if he can get anything. Can't, unfortunately. That is Stinghan going down. Could be a bit of a detriment to them, actually, because hey, having heavy on this forward sport, this forward hold is uh, is very, very strong. But you know, also even stronger, uh, fully buffed Norby here. Just looking at that hill area. Going to probably be taking this SVS pretty soon. So it does come out onto Kai Cam. He's playing very aggressive. They managed to take down Sammy with a snipe there. Overextending compared to the rest of his team. Is it going to be a good thing? We do see the bomb in onto Zio from Hyvik. Huge, huge drop from him. Just jumped down from that little bottom area uh, where you can get in from tracks and just was unspotted there. So really good from him. Getting that drop is exactly what they need on twice. Going to be getting their swans up and pushing. Uh, I would expect straight away. Yeah, the kill onto Shio there. Not having Uber is tough. And that's why you want to be able to have Uber at basically all times <laughs> that you can, because getting forced is better than dropping in most cases, but the Uber does come out. Lots of frags being found for twice as they barrel forward. They do have to deal with Stinghan in the window, but he is alone. He probably shouldn't find any frags here before being kinged up by Eli, and that is indeed the case. Shio up with 55% Uber charge, only Luca to heal though, and <laughs> they are backspawning to make sure they don't get caught. And they're probably going to recontest from drop down here. They come oh, in. They're taking so much damage though. Oh. And that's crazy. You want to recontest from tracks. You know they're going to be spawn camping that. And both uh, Shio and Grip go down. That's two of the most important, probably the two most important classes to have on this third hold. So it's going to be absolutely massive for twice as they try to contest this third point.
So much disrespect there to go camp that forward spawn area where they come down that drop down. Sammy had the perfect idea, got the medic down all the way to 23 health. We did have Klykan then finish off that kill. Perfectly, perfectly executed uh, timing there to just get those early picks. Now it's going to be huge advantage um, for the side of twice here. Sammy going down once again here. Actually, oh, the picks no. going towards the vision. It's all going wrong. Seb goes down as well. Was it just that sentry gun pushed him off the edge? No, what it was, it was a sticky trap on the side. They use around the corner and get blasted by the Luca trap off the cliff. That's why Demoman is also a very strong class, or one of the reasons, is you can completely deny an Uber with a good sticky trap. And not just denying the Uber, but absolutely nullifying it. Yeah, I mean... Definitely, definitely super strong. And now this is allowed Envision to get into this forward hold. Uh, usually quite strong. They do lose an engineer. Not the biggest deal in the world. But Sammy's struggling to find an opening here. Actually, finding that Nobby pick might be exactly what they need. It gets broken so much more space. He's looking towards this tracks area. He's going to go for some cheeky snipes um, onto anyone overextended. But a bomb comes in here. We've seen Kafka do wonders before. He's followed up with by his spy partner, Seb, dodging and diving on 50 health. Does manage to survive here. Uh, but Unforgiven will as well. They have managed to get the car up this first big hill. Uh, but Luke will have something to say about it. It gets finished off by a mini sentry here. There's so much going on here, there, and everywhere on this tracks area. But this is looking pretty good for twice overall, keeping these power classes alive. Your scout to push the class here. It is Sammy looking to push somewhat aggressively here. Probably going to take a trade around this corner as this does come out. Pyro onto car. He is Uber going to do good to know but they keep their scout alive they get up that hill as well as exactly what you need to do should be able to repush if they keep going forward grip going down to broken as well he's doing absolute work here but they want to keep going forward it is going to be stinghan trying to keep things going here the kills going back and forth here then everywhere uh, but it does look like it is going to be better here for the side of twice they're taking all this ground yeah, Shio taking the long way around to avoid Hiver does manage to escape there. They <laughs> stayed in longer than they're welcome, but weren't punished fully for it. So getting a bit lucky, but it's two minutes left on the clock. Broken getting the pyro frag that is going to be free spam now onto top left for twice. Stinghan taking the teleporter hiding in the corner by boxes is going to be very strong, though, if he isn't called. Yeah, the thing I just saw there was... Um one thing that was changed this season, the Darwins has been bad. Usually what that does is negate the uh, the fire damage immune to effects of afterburn. But this time it did not and it completely threw off the aim just allowed broke to win the SVS. Uber does come out, they've taken some good space, taken down the heaviest stick hand, but good to deny um, on that top area. And now the Uber comes back out, it's chasing onto Seb with this pyro. He will go down here and it doesn't look like anyone can really fight but Vision losing. Quite a few in the process here, but overall looking good towards the Envision side. They kept the classes alive that they need to. They will hold on to this last point for just a little longer. And now with only a minute remaining, there's maybe one, two good pushes um, for the side of twice uh, left. So they really need to get something working here. Yeah, and they're going up top, which is, pro is a massive mistake in my opinion. They don't have the power to deny anything. You've just got Luca and the Medic and Norby up there as well. The soldier comes up, drop down, finds oh. the Medic, and that's exactly why you need your Pyro. It's a massive mistake. That's going to absolutely give twice a huge opportunity to win this 6-0. Yeah, this is made such easy work. They're just taking down picks. There's a level one gun going up. That's going to be the only defense as they cap this one out. 30 seconds remaining in vision, already leaving the server. And that is twice winning this one out in a clean 6-0 victory. But it was a close one. Subscribe to see more competitive Team Fortress 2.